Hey Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your love and general reading for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for January 2020. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the deck on the left. We're going to pull one card to see what the energy is for the month of January. And the second deck to the right, we're just going to pull a six card tarot spread. I do upload weekly on here, so go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more content. So let's see what energy oracle card wants to come out. Okay, so you guys got the card Envy, okay? So right off the bat, I'm just seeing jealousy here, okay? So Envy is pretty self-explanatory. I'm seeing you guys are bring, being brought to the attention of things that you want, okay? Things that you want to accomplish and things that you want to achieve. So these feelings are going to be brought up, okay? So on the bright side here, it is good to... Um, you know want to strive for things and stuff but to carry this energy is not really okay take the feeling in observe it and just see how you are able to transmute that into a positive we all get this envy feeling we all get jealous right so what are you going to do about it is the question here okay so this is the surrounding energy for the month of january for you guys I'm also getting here um, feelings of not being enough, okay? I'm getting here um, an energy of comparing yourself to others, okay? So there are ways to do this in a healthy way, but I feel like you're being more brought to the negative side here, okay? Okay, Scorpio, so let's get into your six card spread. So we have the Nine of Swords reversed, the Hierophant reversed. We have Death. This is your card, Scorpio. The star card reversed. The Six of Cups, Seven of Cups reversed. You guys had one more card that wanted to come out, so the Eight of Swords. Okay, so this is your spread, Scorpio. This is an interesting spread to me, okay? So at the far left, we have the Nine of Swords and the Star in the reverse. So I'm seeing that in the beginning of the month, of January, you guys are going to be getting out of your heads a little bit, okay? I, but the Nine of Swords is not a good card. We've all been there. 
major anxiety, sleepless nights, right? Imagining things that didn't even happen, happen, just like creating scenarios in your head. But I feel like this has to do with being in the spotlight, healing or wanting to reconcile and renew things with someone. The signs that we have is Taurus, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, okay? So there was some major anxiety about wanting to be seen in a good light, wanting to be um, in the spotlight as well, okay? But I'm seeing here that there may have been some sort of humiliation that has happened, okay? And with that humiliation, um, you know, nobody likes to be humiliated. So with the Nine of Swords, it was just freaking out, right? So that's a few scenarios I'm getting there. Um, with the Six of Cups, I'm seeing in January, some of you guys, um, like I said, could be reconciling with someone, but I'm also getting that you guys could be repeating past patterns here. Because with the star card, when it's upright, that talks about renewal, you know, doing things differently. Aquarius is very different, talks about healing the star card. But we have the six of cups, and whenever I get that card, that to me is just like staying stuck in the past, repeating patterns, okay? And we have it with the hierophant in the reverse, so some of you guys could have Taurus in your chart, definitely or you're dealing with one. If you're dealing with one, they're showing up in the reverse, and that's all I'm gonna say. But I'm seeing that a lot of you guys have gotten out of a relationship, have gotten out of a commitment, have gotten out of school, a job, an institution, what have you. And for others of you, um, you guys want to be in a hierophant position, okay? own your own business, be a spiritual teacher, what have you. Um, maybe you guys want to apply for a new school, a new job. Um, but with the Six of Cups, it's like there's something here with your patterns or behaviors that's blocking it. And with the Death card, there's endings here, okay? I feel like there's some sort of loss here, and that could be why the Envy is showing up okay so I feel like some of you guys could have been humiliated and if not just not really getting what you want okay with the seven of cups in the reverse you're coming out of confusion you're coming out of s being in a period where there was just smoke and mirrors you had a lot of options some of you guys I see are picking a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, okay, as an option. For others of you, you're choosing to end things, okay, and you're choosing to transform, but I do see that you are feeling a little stuck, you are in your head, okay, which is bringing you to a little bit of low vibration, right? It's nothing bad, we all go through this, so don't try to push away the feelings, take it in, process it, and just try to work on it. Easier said than done, right? Easier said than done. But at the bottom of the deck, that extra card, we have the Eight of Swords. So this to me, as some of you guys could just be repeatedly watching tarot videos, just overdoing it on things to a point where it's just not good, it's not healthy. I'm seeing drug use also with the Eight of Swords heroin, okay? Some of you guys could have relapsed or are still clean, but I'm getting here that some of you guys um, have relapsed. I'm seeing some of you guys could be in jail, someone's in jail, or you were in jail. Yeah, some of you guys are realizing you need to change your habits, you need to change things. I feel like your health, your health is being very affected, okay? 
with the star card in the reverse again there's some type of healing that needs to be taken but you're having a hard time doing it with the death card too something could be taken away from you guys whether this be an actual house or just something being taken away but all in all change is going on and they're not going to be very comfortable scorpio okay especially if you have taurus in your chart so let's go ahead and pull an oracle card for advice for you guys okay scorpio so let's go ahead and see what um card of advice wants to come out for you Okay, so the card you guys got is co-create in the reverse. So this says, you are trying too hard to create all that you desire without the nurturing vital force of spirit. Perhaps you are in a creative slump, suffering with writer's block, facing a monumental task but unable to decide on your first step. So you just avoid doing anything. Does the word overwhelmed apply to you right now? Why do you think it all has to come down to you? Inspiration means the drawing in of divine guidance. You must tap into spirit, not simply yourself. Ask spirit for inspiration. Two minds are greater than one, so co-create with your divine partner. Reclaim your partnership with spirit. Inspiration will flow through you as soon as you get out of your own way. Okay, so you guys feel stuck. What this card is recommending is to have faith, but also this card is all about working with your guides, working with your spirit guides. This could also just be working with other people as well, trying to create whatever it is that you want to, okay? But in order to make things happen and to have faith in healing, I feel like spirit or whatever you want to believe in is really urging you to tap into them okay so scorpio that is all i have for you here thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time